I'm Rebecca. And I'm Hunter. And this is the Family Showdown! How about now? Welcome. How about now? Welcome to lip reading. <laughs> How's it going? We are going to talk about some board games and do some shenanigans and all sorts of fun stuff. Are you in? Hopefully, still here. All right. So let us know the sound. No, I know there's no sound. That, that was, was the beginning. That was the beginning. That was the lip reading. Make sure you're paying attention. Yeah. So I meant to do that. Totally. What? So good evening. Shenanigans. So. So while we're late, just just to, to catch you. No up. one's surprised. Just call it what it is. Just push the button. Push the button. What button? You know the button. Oh, the technical difficulty. That's button? right. You just that's all you need. That's a different kind of technical difficulty. Uh, no, it's pretty much all the same. Anyway. All right. So yeah. So I uh, was working on our first review. I was taking some some photo, steel photos and things like that for our first review we're working on. And I put the camera up and getting ready for the show and apparently taking a couple of pictures. Uh, reset like every setting on the camera somehow so i had to go to and fix all these settings i don't know why it did it but it did <laughs> autofocus was going insane the what else was going on i don't know oh it had black bars on the side of our picture i thought those looked like artsy i was, I was like keep <laughs> them had, i don't care just everything you can imagine I don't care. well welcome to the show <laughs> hunter like cares and wants you to actually enjoy <laughs> watching us for some weird reason i don't know so let's, let, let's know how the sound's doing because I uh, figure I, it's probably going to reset too. No, no, no. Oh. I, I did all this fancy setup for the sound like last time. I did all these fancy cool yep, setups yep. and integrations and stuff. And, and apparently OBS <laughs> can't handle what I did. I'm telling you, and so, you're out of control. So we downgraded how we're doing our sound, kind of, and cool. hopefully it's working now. There you so. go. Um, anyway, <laughs> welcome to the show. We're going to jump right in. As soon as I find the right button. I know we're, gonna, we're not going to jump right in. We're not. I want to remind everybody that we're holding a contest. Yes, that's right. We're holding a contest to create a logo for us. Yes, please. You can create a logo for us, our little family here. I only draw stick people. <laughs> and I... Uh, you, I don't know what you draw. They're not I draw, recognizable. No, I don't, I don't even draw. I do, I do uh, <laughs> uh, clip art. I can do clip art. Clip art. Cool. <laughs> that's I, not I do, copyrighted I, at all. I can do clip art. So do, we're, we're, we're doing a contest, create a logo for our channel. If you go to the, the guild, our Board Game Geek Guild link down in the description, it'll take you to it. They'll find there's a forum. Uh, we have a forum there. Okay. And there is a post for the, the, the logo contest. It tells you all the instructions of what you need to do, when the deadlines are, and all that good stuff. And whoever makes the best contest wins a $100 gift certificate to somewhere. We'll awesome. Figure, between us and you, we'll figure out where that is. It could be Amazon. It could be your local game store. It could be uh, whatever. It could be cool stuff. Whatever you want. Um, we sound underwater. We sound underwater. I know you're thrilled to hear this. Uh, underwater? Really? Yeah. It sounds like it's the bottom of a swimming pool. That's basically what three people have said, or two people have said now. That's weird. Yeah. I got nothing. I got nothing. I don't know. Something new every week lately. It's so exciting. So. All right. Give us one second. We'll be right back. <laughs> we got the waves. We'll be right back. Apparently the. Uh, Uno momento, por favor. We'll be back. That's amazing. What is it? And Coral, I hope they bake the sneezing cookies this week. <laughs> Not sure. I think we're back. Looks like it. Are we back? Are you guys seeing us? Are you hearing us? Think it's working? Does it sound better? Can you see us? Are we even here? <laughs> There's probably a little bit of a lag. Yeah. I'm hoping. Sound is still bad. Awesome. You hear it obey? Well, at least we're back, I guess. What the heck? Well, uh, <laughs> sorry to say Caitlin has not baked any cookies right 
last few days. So we'll have to get her straight on that, Coralie. There's no solution for the sound. We either go with it or um, we don't do a show tonight. Ooh, sound is uh, misbehaving, huh? That badly? Well, awesome. How bad is it, guys, the sound? Frozen video now? Really? No. It doesn't look like it. That must be on your side. For once, it's not us. The sound's okay, George? Just okay, I'm assuming, right? Nothing amazing, of course, but. Oh, good, okay. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh. The growing it's, pains. It's funny, of, I recorded a uh, board game breakfast yesterday with this same setup and didn't have any problems. Yeah, that's, that's so weird. The difference a day makes, right? There were cookies, Paul, but it was near Easter. Um, they got eaten quickly. I wonder what it's, what does it sound? <laughs> I, it's weird. What does it sound like? Yeah, what's the, you guys are getting a different sound? Hardly hear the effect at all. Is it the buzzing again? Some of you that were testing sound with us. Cookies from board I'm game. I'm saying it's good now. I'm, we're, we're powering through. All right, yeah. All good now. We apologize right. for the sound. I'll yeah. test it after the show, but I don't have any way to change it at the moment. It would, <laughs> it would take resetting. Talk about games. <laughs> let's talk about some games. All right, here we go. Yeah, let's talk about some games. <laughs> let's do some games. Bring on the games. Tell us, well, good I, sir. I didn't have the mic. So they're saying my mic is messed up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spaghettios. Rebecca is fine. Mine's messed up. It's weird. Maybe it's because it's caught in my shirt. Oh no. It looks like we froze too. But now we actually froze this time. I get it. I, I, I give up, folks. We may be canceling the show. See what? Can't even. The camera didn't even come on. Ugh. All right. This is <laughs> Julia says, don't give up. Come back. Oh. Get out the uh, other mic. Okay. Okay. We're back. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe? Maybe? And you were there, and you were there, and you were there. I don't know if anyone's still on. <laughs> and, well, you know what? If they're not, I understand. And hopefully the, you know, you'll get a nice little surprise treat later. You'll be like, oh, they did have a show. Sneaky, like ninja. <laughs> well, alrighty. So let's just continue the show before something blows up. <laughs> Do, do do we trust pushing anything at this point? I that's you. I don't know. Twilight Zone for sure. There we go. Full moon. Maybe. All right. <laughs> for better or worse, what a crazy madness. Woo. Yeah, I think everything everything <laughs> broke. The only thing that hasn't happened is the overhead camera has fallen shush, down. Shush. That's the only thing that hasn't. I'm waiting Silence. for that. Silence. What's wrong with you? <laughs> the cat's going to come in now and fix that for you. What did we play? Let's stay on topic. Man, we got we got we got some good stuff here. Should we start with the top? <laughs> All right. Okay. Hopefully it's spinning. I don't know what that means. I don't know what any of this means right now. <laughs> All right. So, here we go. <laughs> so let me start out by saying that I tried out Board Game Arena. Oh yeah, tell me about that because I tried out Board Game Arena. When did I play that? I don't know. Last weekend? Not this week. Previous weekend? The weekend before that? So whatever weekend that is, I don't Two know. Weeks what that ago. Is. Easter. Um, 
Try that board game arena. Played Clans of Caledonia. Ooh, um, that's right. And uh, I've played Tabletop Simulator, I think it was, and one other one. The ones that don't have any rules, that basically you just have the components and you play it like you would a normal yeah. board game. Yeah. And those were just ridiculously frustrating for me. So, um, uh, I played Clans of Caledonia. It plays like an app. It plays basically just like you would on your iPad. It has it has all the rules. It's just click and click. You click on things. You're not dragging components and setting them on things and like that. No, oh, nice. It's very. It feels, it feels like a, it's an app based thing, and it has all the rules. Nice of the game, as opposed to like Tabletop Simulator. You have to know the game. You, have, you it, the game doesn't keep you from messing up or cheating or not playing correctly. That would stink. Because and would inevitably, I really up. enjoyed my play of Clans of Caledonia. Nice. Um, so I play. I ended up playing several games on Board Game Arena. So I'm gonna leave it to the chat. Those of you that are still left, you guys that get the gold <laughs> star for sticking around, <laughs> you triple gold. That's your cue. Oh, my cue. You get the gold star for sticking around. Ta-da! Um, do we want the this board game arena awesome. games added to the rankings of the live play games, or do we want them done separately? The first Ooh. couple of votes will decide which I'm going to do. Am I combining the rankings, or am I separating the rankings? Mm. But anyway, so I think you should try board game arena. I think you'll like it. I definitely better. sound like I will, because it sounds like I will. That was English, I promise. That's really cool. And... You've talked about this multiple times now, saying how much fun you had. Of course, you have fun playing with the people we play with anyway, but on top of this, you were, like, actually saying positive things about the app. <laughs> right. Or, or program. Right. So that's always a huge deal. Um, oh, Cora Lou. All you I really don't it. know what I'm doing with Board Game Arena. So I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, try, I'll try to friend you back. I just, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm very, very, I'm a complete noob with Board Game Arena. But you think it's separate... Board games arena is not board games. That's an interesting take, too. I agree, Julio. Because it's not quite the same, right? Some people are saying combined. Yeah, it's mixed. You may have to put an official poll out, sir. <laughs> I'm going to say two to one, the combiners win. All right. Well, so, there's three now. Oh, three combined. Okay, okay, there you go. Team Julio better speak up then. Okay, so <laughs> so then in that case, we're, we're, I'm going to rank them. I already kind of told you about clans, but we'll still talk about okay. it in a minute. Okay. Um, so my number seven game of the seven games I played, I played yes. four on Board Game Arena. We played we played three live. Yes. Um, my number seven, I don't own that game, so I have to actually go over to the little the little bits here and put a picture up. Ooh, you have a bit. So there you go. What is this? What happened to the chat? It disappeared what do you forever. Mean? The chat? It's right there. It wasn't there before. What are you doing, man? Don't mess up stuff. Um, that's I need that monitor for I later. Just... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> you may not feel like you're moving, but you're moving around all over three different monitors. Alright, here we go. <laughs> so uh this game, the it says Cardboard and Sun, but that's not the game I played. It's actually called Thermopolis. Is that what it's called? Thermopolis? Yeah, that. Yeah, Thermopolis. Thermopolis? Thermopolis. Um, I, I played that. How it's spelled. It's a, it was a simple... I was basically using this to test out playing a solo game. I have to see how it's spelled. Um, okay. It's like the Greek thing. The, the town? Yes. Thermopolis. Yeah, there, that. Or Thermopolis. It's definitely not Thermopylae. Okay, well, th it, I, yeah, I don't it know. Ends I'd with have to see. I need anyway, to see the word. So I was I testing out playing going. solo on Board Game Arena, and that looked like this lightest, simplest little thing to play. And I actually enjoyed it. It's a, it's a, it's a older game. I think it came out in two in two thousand thirteen. Um, it, uh, it's just a, a cooperative little card game. It's kind of a, it's almost reverse tower defense basically the, you, have, you have the persian car you have cards out in front of you that are, represent the persian army okay and you're sending your troops to fight them but it's a simple comparing numbers game but there's some dice rolling and stuff like that and it's oh. kind of a, a, ch a solo in a solo game you'd have multiple people playing but you can play it i mean in a multiplayer game it's cooperative but in a solo game it's just you versus them and you're just playing cards out and oh, kind of fun kind of risky it's, it's a simple game it takes like two or three minutes to play so i played it eight times <laughs> And I won on the eighth time, and I was good after that. That's, that's funny. <laughs> I played it. took me eight times to win. It was a fun little solo cat challenge, but it's very lucky, very random. Well, yeah, you had a um, lot of dice going on. Yeah, So, so but it, it was it was interesting. So, fun. Thermopylae. 
just show me where it's at. Cardboard and Sun. That's the other name for it. Okay, well, why don't you go with the one you can say? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's not what that's on the website. Oh, confusing. Right. Confusilating. All right, let's move on to my number six, my number six game. Okay. This one we played live uh, on the channel. Uh, we did a live play of this game, and we played the rules incorrectly. <laughs> so we went back and played the game oh, with the right rules. this one? Yes. And that is uh, Mercato de Lisboa. Dude, we replayed this and with the correct rules, and the game goes, it seems like it goes even quicker. It's really fast. It's, it's a really, like for a two-player, this is almost like filler game material it's so fast um but still really fun it's just a much tighter game one of the things that um you i guess somebody had pointed out or something is it, we were flinging down customers like they were going out of style right and apparently you that's based off of how many little Stop. shops are actually in each row right to where you put yeah, there's level out. one through so four customers we would never have put out any level fours yes so we ended up <laughs> and so we had a massively high score we right. should have had a much smaller right. score but that's really mostly the difference yeah it, it just slowed down the accelerating on the money bit of it it didn't slow down or change the gameplay in fact it made it a little tighter and it was still really interesting really fun um love this game yeah it's really good uh you should Quick little light tile placement game. Yeah. So we, we played it. It says 30 to 45 minutes. I think we played it in oh, like 20 minutes. Yeah. This is for two players anyway. Um, unless some you have somebody AP in, this is a 30 minute game. Right. This is a great short game. Keep that in mind. It's really good. I think it may, if you have people that are not sitting and just really overthinking it, you could probably play a four player game. Oh, yeah. In 30 minutes oh, yeah. with it's, this. It's, really and truly because the board fills up so much quicker, right. more qu more quickly with um, more players because you're limited. Once you close up a certain amount of areas, there's only four spots left. Game's over. I mean, pff, it, almost instantly. So, All right. pretty cool. So, I didn't give ratings. The Thermopolis, I gave a six. This one, I give an eight. Thermopolis? Yes. Thermopolis. All right. Next this up. This is good. Next up is another game that we played. I played on Board Game Arena. I played a solo okay. game of Carnegie. Oh, uh, yeah. You this is a, a Kickstarter. It was on Kickstarter. Kickstarter ended a couple, I don't know, a couple, two or three weeks ago. Um, it's a heavy Euro game. I played the solo version of it. Um, it's a engine building, resource management, heavy Euro game. Um, it's got some interesting um, tile placement. Uh, basically, you have... Uh, you have a board in front of you with all these different buildings or departments in your company. Mm -hmm. I guess they're departments in your company. And they're little tiles that you're placing on kind of a, a grid. And then you take your workers and your workers actually move around and, and go set in workstations at the different departments. And then you get to, when you activate that department, there's four different departments. Uh, every All the tiles of that department activate. And if you have workers in those spots, then you get to do the actions of those tiles. Um, Really cool engine building. It really ramps up. There's a lot of good choices. Um, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Do you think I'd like it? I think you would. It's very puzzly. Mm. It's very puzzly. Very, um, yeah. It's it's a really. I enjoyed it. I got completely annihilated by Mr. Andrew Carnegie, which was the automated person well, that's, that's that you played. That's why he's. That's why he's the like. He you know, the, the destroyed man. me. I think it was 149 to 109 or something like Woo! that. Um, yeah, he just. I really didn't. That's your first play of I didn't 100% right? know what I was doing. I was like, this looks good. I'll do this. I'll do that. And then yeah. towards the middle of the game, I'm like, oh, I see how things work. And it was yep. already too late. He was already way ahead of me. Yep. I scored almost no points during the game. So there's ways to score points as you go. Mm -hmm. And then there's a ton of in-game scoring. I had almost no points during the game. And what's funny is I had almost no points. And then they started. the, end, the game ended. It started racking up all my in-game scoring. And my score is going up and up and up and up. And I passed him. I'm like, oh, I won. And then he did his in-game scoring. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and so it was funny. I, I thought I, I thought he is he didn't have in-game score, yeah. but he he scored in-game stuff as well. So it looks like the it's like, it looks like the the automated the solo version of the game is you just flip over a card and it tells you where to put stuff for him what okay. he what he does. Um, so you just flip over a card and he it has a list of things he does on the board and. I guess you're putting out workers and taking spots and taking some of the tiles department tiles away and things like that. And uh, it, it looked like it was really smooth. And what's cool about Board Game Arena, it, I played a game of Carnegie's two to three hours. Uh, I played my game, first time I've ever played solo, I played it 40 minutes. Nice. Well, that's one thing about solo gaming on the computer too, right? You're not working on the setup. You're not moving the stuff. Right. It, it, and when you flip over, when true. you flip, when you, when you end your turn and his tile, uh, 
card flips over, it's like boom, 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 and that's your turn. Nice. Whereas I assume in, you know. Pretty August, soon, I, I can sense it now. You're already like, I think robotic Rebecca is going to be playing this game. <laughs> I don't feel like setting up and putting down. She's too slow on her turn. I really enjoyed. <laughs> I enjoyed Carnegie quite a bit. I want to play it again. And, and with Board Game Arena, I just load yeah, it up, just load load up and, and go. You know, and that's kind of a neat take, too, thinking about, you know, especially if you want to play a lot of games but don't have budget thing, how much is... The board game arena. Thing. It's twenty four dollars for a year membership. Holy cow, that's awesome! So yeah. this is a great way to try some new games before you buy them, or yeah, to yeah. do. That's a really and, that, good and they got thing. a fairly good selection, and it's growing. And there's a lot of good games out there. There's not very many solo games, um, so I got to mm. Apparently, I got a friend Cora Lou, and yeah, so you I better can, can you better put that games. on the top of your to do list. And I get Carnegie a nine, Cinderacky. so everything above <laughs> the last four games are all nines and hires as well. Because they're obviously. good. All right, so the, I already kind of spoiled it when I was asking about Board Game Arena. Also, Clans of Caledonia is my next one. I think I have it somewhere. I have it here. No. Oh, okay. I was going to say, you didn't put it by me. I played it on Board Game Arena, but this is our copy of Clans of Caledonia. I played it with the infamous Tommy, who's in the chat. The infamous. Uh, we played Clans of Caledonia. Played, again, this is, my, this is my very first Board Game Arena experience. I've never used it before, but... I jumped right in and, and was, able was able to play, no, no problem. And there's uh, a lot of pieces. I mean, this is a, one of those chock full games. So for you to jump in and be able to do all the things you want to do, and that's that's a good. good I, I mean, I breezed through the rules right, right before we played to kind of get refresh myself well, on the rules. But the smart. game plays so smoothly that you can't make a mistake. Good. So if you forget a rule, you're, you try to click on something to do something. Board game arena, it's like you can't do that. You know. Like if you want to do an action, it, you click on it, and then it shows you all your options. They all, they oh, all okay. highlight all your options of things nice. you can do, so you can't do something that's outside the boundaries of the game, which is yeah. really cool. So I give Clans, Clans of Caledonia a nine, um, so that's my four number four game of the ones we played. Good pick. Good pick. All right, my number three, my number three game is one that Rebecca and I played. We didn't play it live. We played this before we were doing live plays. And that's Smartphone Inc. Do, 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 do. So we played the expansion of Smartphone Inc. Um, the main thing that came with the expansion um, was that there's a board for one, two, and three players. Yeah, and that, that was nice. And when you play the regular game without the expansion, you have you all play obviously play on the same board, and you just make you make spots so unworth. Is that not a word? Unworth. Un, what am I looking for? It's not worth going to certain spots on the board. They don't actually block the spots on the board. They just make oh. it, it's not worthwhile for you to go to the spots so they're effectively blocked. Yeah. Um, so you have areas of the board blocked. In the the expansion, it has a board that you play two-player and you don't block anything off. You do put some, change. you change a couple places to retail places, but other than that, um, you, the board's much tighter. We were interacting much sooner because when we played a few times. We think, played it live. No, we did play it live? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. We did play it live. Yeah, because they were able to see my stuff. Yeah, that's right. And so when we play the, the, two, the two or three times, I can't remember how many times we played the regular game. Um, a couple times. There was times when we started on the opposite sides of the wall. Yeah, and, we hardly, and, we hardly, and we hardly interacted. I mean, yeah. we got. it wasn't until like midway through the game or further when we would start competing against each other. In this game, the first we, round, we were competing yeah, against each other. Yeah, that was your other. fault, by the way. You could have gone a different direction. No. Like, oh, I want to look what's so, over here. And the, also gives, this spot. also has a few other things. It adds uh, kind of achievements, goals, game goals yep. you're going for. Directives, I think they're called, um, are in here. And it adds a couple of uh, more of, of the different, uh, I don't know what they're called, the different uh, phone types, the types of different and technologies. Adds more technology tiles mm -hmm. to the game and stuff like that. Yeah. But the, again, the big thing that's in this box the is board. a much, much better uh, board for yeah. one to three players. It was good. So, it was good. I love Smartphone yeah, it It's a good one. I really like this game. Yeah, it's interesting. It's not what I... It's one of those games I didn't expect it to be what it was. I wasn't sure what the game was going to be about. And it was a nice, pleasant surprise. So, I don't and, know. It's so oh, yeah, you, spank, you spanked me. I remember now. We played that live. You beat, you beat me. I did. You beat me pretty bad. I try not pretty, to, you know, pretty, pretty, bring that up bad. too often, but... Um, <laughs> I love it. Smartphone Inc. is a good one. I want to play that one with the full five players. I do too. I think it'd be I think it'd be much more I think it's interaction. Be very different. I much think it's more be interaction. Different. All right, let's move on. That's a, that one gets a nine as well. Wow. So let's move on like to that. my number two. My number two. 
Oh, well, I forgot what else is over here. I was like, well, what is beating this? Okay, never mind. There is something being beating that. Yeah, there is. Lost Runes I, of Arnak. I disagree, but... Did we play this one live? I think we yes. did. We did play it live. Yes. Um, so, yeah, the Lost Runes of Arnak. Uh, you saw us play it. I love this game. It's it's one of my favorite games from last year. Um, we're going to do that list, revisiting the 2020 list probably in June. Yep. Um, this is up near the top, tippy top of my favorite games from last year. It's just a great mixture of worker placement, deck building, Ugh. resource management. It's got so many cool things going on. It does. On. I want to play it right now. I mean, this one got tons of hype. It's still getting hype, and it, it deserves it deserves deserves the hype. It's yeah. really really cool. I think we'll um, this is going to be well. this won the poll for our first review. So um, I'm starting kind of in my head formulating how I want the review to go. Like I said, I've messed with my camera, taking still pictures, which annihilated all our yeah, settings. Yeah, shame on you. How dare you touch that camera? To to uh, go with our review, I have this idea of doing we'll some there. still shots, some like high res still shots to add in the review. But anyway, this is going to be our first review. I don't know when it's going to come out. Um, or I, the first one may take a little while because we're kind of still working through what we want to do and how we want to do it. Yep. But love it. It's a great one. If you haven't tried it, if you like worker placement, you like deck building, you got And play. it's on BGA, as I hear. It is. It's, it doesn't have a solo it. mode, though. But it is on Board Game Arena. So, no solo, No solo mode, though. Find a friend. That one doesn't even have a solo in the box, does it? I don't think so. I think this is... A, no, it is. One to four. Yeah, I wonder why. Uh, maybe we'll get a solo mode of it someday. Probably have to change up some of the rule stuff and work on that, so I'm sure it takes a little bit longer. And my number one game... No one's surprised when they see it. You won't be surprised. I played on Board Game Arena as well. Uh-huh. It's my number two game You're of all time. Board Game Arena crazy person. My number two game of all time, it is The City of Big Shoulders. Sprawling, husky, whatever it is. <laughs> Stormy, husky, brawling. City of the Big Shoulders, the Board Game Arena version of this game is... Awesome, super awesome, super easy to use. Um, it just, I think the game was it's just. I love this game, and um, I got some some revenge on the infamous Zerus. Uh oh, oh you did, did you? <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't heard more about this. Uh, oh man! But I love Battle this game. Continues. This is one of my all-time favorite games. I'm so excited that it's on City of Big Shoulders because. I'm probably going to be bugging people to play this all the time. See what you're up for, Coralou? Um, <laughs> really, like I said, really good implementation. If you don't know That's this good. game, it's a, a really, really heavy worker placement game. It's based off of 18xx games. It kind of takes the route building and the track building and the whole train thing out of it. And you're still running businesses. You're still trying to earn money. You're trying to get the business's money to, into your personal money. You win by having the most personal money, just like 18xx. But it's a it, in place of all the track building and route building and stuff like that. It adds in a just a really heavy worker placement kind of a recent. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's kind of resource management. They're just cubes, but um, love it. One of my all-time favorite games. I was really surprised how well it played. I figured a game this complicated with this many moving parts with much, much going on. Wouldn't be as fun was online, right? No, it was going to be just buggy and hard to oh, play and, and not work that. very well. It works amazing. No no issues at all. Awesome. City Man, of the Shoulders. I, I'm liking the sounds of this. Technology is great when it's working. I Board Game Arena is like, what a cool and my, time. And my understanding, I could be wrong, is... Board Game Arena actually works with the publishers, I think, to, oh, to, to get nice. the rights to the games, maybe, I want to say. Okay. Um, that I, makes sense. I know some of the online game people don't really do that. Um, I maybe have it backwards. I may be the one that's not doing it, but I think they work with the publishers and stuff. That's cool. Because a, the, the, a lot of the Kickstarters are pointing to Board Game Arena now for, for really? people to test their game. Ooh, that's um, smart. Anyway. Love it. Ooh, very cool. One of my favorite games, and I enjoyed the play. Yes, it, I do want to join you guys playing on there at some point. I have just been suffering a massive amount of burnout, so I've been being a bum. But, yes, I want to play. The See, and I like playing this game, and I think even more so because one thing, tell me if this is the case, because I know when we're playing 18xx on the computer, I'm able to click on a bunch of tabs or whatever and see, in general, how everyone's doing you know what I mean? Like, but if, Board Game Arena keeps running scores. That's what I was wondering. It keeps because running scores. When you're playing those games like that, you can still see all the information's open, right? And but and you can see people's money and stuff like that. So you can see how much they have, but you have to go and calculate it yourself. And if you're like me and sometimes just tired, I don't want to sit and count everybody's stuff every single round. But it, it was something that was kind of neat 
playing it online, you could see that stuff. Yeah, so this, it keeps a tally, this one kept a running total. Kind of can see where everybody's of, sitting everybody's at. Score, yeah. That's really interesting. Okay. I. Ooh. Yep, I'm just, I'm pleasantly surprised really cool. because I really I, I really, I really like did not like my experience on Tabletop Simulator and Tabletopia. I I did I played each of them once and I was that was it for me. Yeah, because they kind of dragged out the game unnecessarily with. Their yeah, I mean you're just clicking all over the place and you have to click to look at your cards and click yeah. and click and click. This one, it just everything's in front of you. It's like an app. You see your score, you see your resources, you see everything in front of you. It's really cool. Yeah, so that's exciting. This is good stuff for you guys to check out. Um, and hey, yeah, maybe it'll give us some more opportunities to play with you guys, which is really cool because I know everybody, all of us are scattered all over the place. Um, just have to coordinate, right? All right. So. We were going to do a new segment, a new new segment, but I'm going uh, to tell the people about, uh, what do you want to talk about? Tell I, the people I, about. I don't know. What are you talking about? <laughs> n- not this. Just talk to, ask, ask my a philosophical question about board games. A philosophical question about board games. What am I stalling for? Okay. Here, here no, I, I'll, I'll ask a question. What What is your opinion, leave it in the chat or down in the comments, of the increasing involvement of Kickstarter in the publishing of board games? Oh, you mean how it's just getting to be almost a common thing now? Yes. It is because they're almost... And doing... it's, not even, it's not even a... It's not even being used as a... Uh, funding system is being used as a pre-order system because a lot of times the games are almost done when they put them on kickstarter really oh wow yes. i didn't realize this was progressing that way that is interesting all right you while know. you're thinking about that all i did notice julio i like your comment here that you feel the games in our collection should be played physically um i am very much that person too um, I like to have a physical copy. I, I'm the same way with books. I have a terrible time. Um, that's one thing that I have a problem with with online courses is that I need to have a physical book. I My concentration lags reading long pieces of information on um, online. And with games, if it's not really helpful um, and interactive, I will kind of stray a bit. Um, playing a board game too. Um, that's why I'm excited about this the, the board game arena stuff because I think sounds like it might have a better better shot at it. Um, 18xx wasn't too bad because while I'm waiting and stuff, I crocheted or did something. But I'm with you. I like to be doing stuff. Oh yeah, I, I would 100 percent so, prefer in person. Yeah, but as an alternative, um, given you know current situations and everything else, and some and some people like um, well, some of you that live all the way across the U.S. and we're never going to get to play unless we somehow meet up at a convention. I would totally want to meet up then online if that's an option and that's a thing. I think that's really cool, and I'm all over that. But I'm with you completely. I think that having a physical copy and playing it is still by far the best thing. Um, all right, I think I'm just about ready. Prefer in person too, yeah. Just about ready. All right, let's do it. Oh, you're an audiobook over ebook. Yeah, I totally get that. All if right. I didn't get constantly interrupted, I would totally do an audiobook. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try out a new segment. Oh be- yes, for, let's do it for better or worse. You got this. Here we go. You got this. <laughs> go team. <laughs> All right, so was it the last variety show I discussed? I mentioned that I was considering doing a Kickstarter thing, and someone I forgot his name. Man, I'm horrible with names. Someone left a comment to that video, saying uh, suggesting a way to do the Kickstarter thing, and I thought it was real cool. So basically, what they said, in a nutshell, was discuss any recent Kickstarters you've done, if there is any, mm-hmm. and if not, go back and show. Oh, some past what, ones? What past ones that we've done and talk about them cool. and, and things like that. So what we're going to do is, is every so often I'm going to do some Kickstarter stuff. I'm just going to, to pull up the screen. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see. I had it all set up and then we had to close everything down. So let's see. Here we go. There we go. Ta-da! Good, good job. So let me know if that looks right on your screen because i got a weird monitor over here. It looks like it's looking pretty good. From what I can see, and I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna take this. And Very I, cool. And I'm gonna make this. I had this all set up in advance, but 
I had to close it all down. <laughs> now I'm doing it. You get Tommy to says he feels like you need a Wilhelm scream at the end of your intro for the Kickstarter games. Let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not working. That's not working at all. What are you doing, man? I'm trying to get through this set. I had this all set up, but now it's not set up. All right, so you guys aren't going to get to see me. Nah, they don't want to look at me. Don't need to look at me anyway. Nah. All right, here we go. All right. All right, so hopefully you guys are seeing that. So one of the one of the Kickstarters I just backed, and in fact, it, it's still active uh, today. It's still got 16 days to go. Um, I backed Hippocrates. Yes. Hippocrates. Yeah, Hippocrates. Yeah, because it's Greek. It is. And I knew I'd get brownie points for that. <laughs> it's from the maker, the guy who made... Uh, the Hippocratic Oath. No, the designer of the game. Oh. <laughs> who made Twa and Black Angel. Uh, we, we were met on Twa. Black Angel looks interesting, but we didn't get it. But uh, I did lots of research before I bought this game. I watched several playthroughs. I watched uh, several reviews. And this game looked really cool. I thought it looked cool, but I know Rebecca will oh, love, love, love this game. Um, uh, Hippo. What do they call? What do they call him in the? Hippocrates. Hippocrates. I think. Um, so anyway, it's a. That was so crates, it, by the way. You're thinking. So crates. Yeah, I was thinking so crates. Um, <laughs> so it's a it's a it's a cool little t- uh, tile drafting game, uh, worker placement slash tile drafting game. So you're basically you are uh, doctors that actually use medicine to fix people as opposed to okay. um, praying for them and call them cursed and all that stuff they used to do back <laughs> in the day. Um, you actually use medicines and potions and things to try to fix people. And so you're you're draft you're, you're, dra- you're both drafting patient patients you're drafting patients to to try to cure you get basically that's a way to get (laughs) victory points in the game but you're also recruiting doctors that work for you uh to work for you as well so you're hiring this team of doctors that will use your different potions there's they say that's the resources in the game to cure these patients but what's really cool what i found interesting let's see if they show it on the thing is the let's see if they have it anywhere uh what's in the box what's in the box besides looking amazing it looks gorgeous i don't know you're scrolling through it at 100 miles an hour Sorry, I'm trying. Yeah. I'm looking for a specific thing, and it's not oh, okay. showing it. They're not showing it. Those little pillars remind me of um, maybe Elysium. Can, let me zoom in on, on this maybe. Where was it? The art's cool. Right I here. Like the there art. we go. So when you when you uh, draft your your patients, they're actually it's like you connect. You make a little con- connections, almost like root connections. Okay. So basically, your doctors connect with the patients. So the doctors can can treat certain kinds of use certain kinds of resources. So like maybe they can oh, use okay. the blue and the purple resource. Another doctor can use the green resource, and maybe the patient needs all those resources. So you connect the doc doctors like little links with the patients, and then they treat them, and then they have a certain number of of tr- uh, treatments they can do before they have to retire or, or oh, before they move okay, on. Okay. So it's it's really cool how the tiles interact with each other. I figured you'd like that the way that it's kind of like a puzzle almost. Yeah. How you're connecting these different doctors with the patients. Yeah. This looks like a really, really interesting game to me. Yeah. It, it uh, got a cool drafting system. It uh, it's basically uh, always uses four players. So uh, if you play two players, there's two uh, kind of, quote, dummy players. But all they do is they take the highest number patient or the highest oh, number okay. doctor. Oh, okay, so it's like, oh, I can't think of what other game we played recently where it just takes the the top whatever right you can predict what they're going to do and Co- it's coimbra to, coimbra does is that, it. Yeah, is that way it it's just it just it's good re- okay it's really quick they just basically prevent you from drafting certain patients and certain doctors <laughs> do they use leeches <laughs> probably i'm sure no it's the there's one. there's a potions <laughs> what is it I, there's there's there's, saying, there's there's four different resources I'm, I'm gonna say now the purple ones are leeches the blue ones are actual hippos in crates <laughs> The, oh, the red ones should be leeches. And it's actually. cool that uh, they also use, uh, for the drafting that's showing here on the screen, when you draft the, the patients, you roll dice, and that tells you which patients you can draft from each of the six different columns. Oh, okay. But there's ways, there's different things you can do to manipulate that to be able to select different ones so that it okay. doesn't, you're not limited in the one that are rolled. So you may not want to take the poor chump that's got a, a like, 
paper cut in the front. You want to get the, the sick dude in the back. And yeah, you can, pretty you much. You can have him cut in one. Well, no, actually, the, the, or is basically, it the other way around? if you look at the bottom of the patient, I don't know if you guys can see, you get different resources and different bent perks for picking those patients. Ah, and the ones okay. down at the bottom give you lots of resources, but ah, it runs okay. your reputation. Ah. So it's like you got this back alley <laughs> you thing. Jerk. You got this back alley situation oh, going on, no. right? Oh, like, or like it's, a, it's like it's some guy that got drunk and fell down and hurt his head, and <laughs> trading him gives you a bad reputation or something. I don't know. <laughs> So it's, it's, this, alley, this, this game looked like, really, really cool to me. I, uh, I thought it looked pretty good, so That's I got interesting. it. Interesting. I'm kind of scared about the 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 bad, poorly reputable doctors. Yeah, the ones at the bottom. I, I know you guys can't see it, That's but, but there's uh, see there's there's your yeah. I can. See, you I mean, Vic- you can see numbers. You can see that there's larger amounts of things in yeah, that bottom row. Yeah. You, you, but you lose reputation from doing. That's that. hilarious. It just looks like a really interesting game to me. Um, I don't know. It looks it looks really cool too. I like the little pillars and the little potions and stuff look cool. So yeah, the, oh, I like the little bits. Yeah, I I never seen them close up like that. That's a cool picture of them. Okay, very fun. Yep, looks it looks fun. So that's the that's the most recent one I backed. The next one back, it's already ended unfortunately, but there is pre orders for it. Oh, okay. So the, okay. the the next most recent one I backed is uh, Meeples and Monsters. Meeples and oh, are they little special meeples? Yeah, they're little, little. Oh my goodness! Screen printed meeple. So this That's is kind. Adorable. Of, this is kind of a. It almost reminds me of a video game. You're basically recruiting these different warriors, and you're going out and fighting monsters and stuff. Oh, okay. I'm on the wrong screen. Hold on, I'm on the updates because I already backed it. I need to go to the, the campaign section. Maybe, maybe if a mouse. Mouse is a spastic. There it goes. All right, All let right. me get to the campaign. So here we go. But, um, so. Meeples and monsters. So it looks it's, it looks really cool. You got this little board. This is like your little area. You get little you draft little different types of warriors, and you're going out. And it's like a little. It's almost like a little medieval town. So they go out. Yeah. They go out and, and get stuff. They go get things in the town, and then they oh and then they go fight monsters and stuff yes. once you get them and upgrade them. So so it's almost it's almost like RPG kind, kind of, of yeah thing, kind of but yeah with your own little meeples and how fun. so you, see, you recruit okay. guys and you upgrade them and you go fight. That's adorable. So yeah, this seems like a little, a cool little game. I like how the the. That's gonna be hilarious. Yeah, it looks it's like a cute. This it's like it's my kind of game. This is the kind of video oh, totally. games I played. Totally. Back when I was Ness younger. Ness is even young, playing a game like this right now. It's right. A, oh yeah, that one where the one where they they, they go into town and go out and fight monsters. Yeah. So yeah, this one looked really cool. This is cute. Um, so. I like the little goofy meeples, and I like the fact that you have. It looks like there's different shops in town, and must do different things. Yeah, I guess you can buy equipment and get upgrades and stuff like that. So, so that's. Cute. I think I think the you build the town together, so everyone together is working to increase the new put new buildings in the town and new things to do and. Yeah, it's funny. You, you can make them into warriors and wizards and things like that. Oh my it, gosh. It's really cool. The meeples look adorable. Yeah, like that's just hilarious. I love it. So it's the guy, and look at it's the guy that made uh, Champions of Midgard, which is one of oh my favorite Oh my gosh, games. that's one of like yeah, that's that's yeah. super high up there. Okay, yeah, there you go. This looks really cool. It's, it's your guy. And AEG's been actually doing a pretty good job with their games lately. So oh man, Space Base, Mystic Veil, vale, and Calico, and oh my gosh, Tiny Ta- Point South. Wow. Okay. Yep. Oh, um, you didn't like the cover to the game. The cover? I didn't. I wasn't paying too much attention to that. Let me scroll back up. Let's see. Where's the cover? Right here. This is kind of it. Eh, yeah. This down here. Kind of, kind of dorky. I get it. But, I don't know. Yeah. I think it looked fun. But the game itself looks really fun. I like the idea. It sounds like you're kind of board gaming out oh, of yeah. RPG, and yeah, I love yeah, that. Yeah. That I, sounds I, like a blast. I like right? the idea like, of them building up the town and going out and how fun okay. getting equipment and stuff like that. Yeah, because down here I think you you, you recruit town <laughs> folks and then you can upgrade them into different classes and yeah. they do different things. Oh gosh, see, and that's one thing that would be a blast too. Think about that. Go and get your dude, and then yeah. I know I'm just scrolling around like crazy, but all right. That's kind of cool to show everybody all this stuff. All right, so there it is. Okay, but this one, this one, one. This one uh, does have a uh, late pledge. So oh if okay. You're, if you're interested, you can pledge late on it. Okay. And then I'm gonna talk about a game I passed on. Oh okay. Interesting. So, all right. So all right. this game looked. Awesome, John Company. Okay, looked amazing. Heavy Euro game. It looks right up my alley. Um, 
Let me scroll down and you can see the. Oh wow! All, all the cute slow look. down, slow down, man. So this look, the, the, the board look. <laughs> this board looks like the great boring boards that I like. So it uh, does. It kind of gives me an 18xx vibe. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, this, this looks like right up my alley. There are all okay. kinds of cool stuff going okay. on. You got these different companies and yeah, yeah. and all sorts of stuff going on. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Horrible two player. Oh, bummer. like like okay. really bad. Like like from what everything okay. I read because this is the second edition. Oh, okay. This is the second edition of the game. Everything I read about the first edition, the two-player was basically unplayable. Oh. Because I think there's, like, negotiation going on and auctioning or something. Something's mm-hmm. going on that if you just have two people, it's a net zero benefit. Oh, okay. If there's three, but if we're trading and then some, someone else isn't trading with us, then we're benefiting and they're not. Oh, okay. But if we're trading okay, okay. against ourselves, what are we accomplishing? Accomplishing anything? If we're that? doing a fair trade, we're not... We're not accomplishing anything. So, okay. So okay. they said that you need a, you need more players more to, to make a benefit to actually okay. trading and negotiating with sense. each other. This one's still going. Uh, look, Tommy backed it. Look at Yay. there. Yay! See Tommy. There's We're to- spying on Tommy. There's like a Tommy picture. A right Tommy here. stalker. <laughs> I didn't know you stalked Tom- people. Tommy, on Tommy, too. Tommy, and uh, Jeff, Jeff Engelsting. Engel- Jeff Engelsting apparently are, are, in, are in cahoots. <laughs> in cahoots, I love it. But this game looks really cool. I just unfortunately, I really at this point in my. Uh, Playing life, I can't back a game that doesn't play well two player. It's kind of a oh yeah, it's kind of a that's, waste. That's definitely right now a waste. So because I mean, it's gonna be a while still. I mean, it looks really, it looks really fun. It looks really, it looks, it's it's right up my alley. Well, hey, it looks like Tommy's getting it, so you know. Yeah, I mean, I'll get, I'll get to play it, but <laughs> yeah, it looks it looks cool. The, the, the pieces and stuff look really neat. Yeah, the board the board really does give that. You're right, it's 18xx vibe to the board the mm-hmm. way it's set up. It's supposed to be looking like the old timey, you know. I mean, it kind of does that too, but that that particularly the right side when you got that map that just screams like eighteen XX. So that may turn off some people. It's right here, I don't know. This game will not have an additional retail release. Oh, okay. So that's one of those things where this you is get a it, now get it or not, never. right? Yeah. Okay. I want to get. I Ooh, get... fancy coins and mm, look at all that. You cool. know, this game looked really cool. It looked really interesting to me. Um, for me, I know most people won't like it. Well, but there's a lot of people that do like heavier games and stuff too that will be intrigued with this information. So. Yeah, see negotiations. So basically, okay. basically, if we're negotiating and it's a fair deal, what are we accomplishing? <laughs> I give you eight coins, you give me eight coins. What what Woo-hoo! what have we accomplished? But if you get, but if I give you something you need and you give me something I need, and Tommy's over in the corner, then it actually serves a purpose. Oh, right? we point and laugh at Tommy. Yeah, I get it. Okay. Yes. Okay. But if in a two-player <laughs> game, it doesn't work well. Okay. I mean, I looked on Board Game Geek. It said like, it's like seventy percent not, not, reco- not, not recommended, recommended for two-player. So very high. Does it even? Does it? I That's too bad it, because you're right. I think with more players and stuff, this looks like a lot of fun. Um, yeah, it says one to six players. Ooh, lies! <laughs> How would you make a good trading game with one player? How does that work? Is it usually against you, the bank or something? I don't like know. a. I don't Any know of how you, you solo would do this, player. I want to hear just out of curiosity because I don't know how they would do that. That would be interesting. Looks, it looked really cool, and I was really excited. I almost hit the back bucket button, back button, but I uh, went out to Board Game Geek and did always do research on. I research my games before I buy them, and I'm like, everyone ah, says two player bad, yeah. is not good. So. Well, bummer, but good for people that want uh, a good multiplayer experience. So very cool. All right, so there it is. So uh, there's a Kickstarter. Um, I'm going to do two or three of these each time I do it, and I'll either do new ones or old ones and kind of talk about what I uh, mm-hmm. what I thought, my thoughts were. Cool. There's one that just ended, Fjord, just ended. I did not back it. I'm not going to talk about it because it's an older game. It's it came out a long time ago and mm. got bad reviews then. I don't know why they're re-releasing it. I mean, it looks not really nice now. The old version looks, well, that doesn't look very good, but it didn't get very good reviews the first time around. Why would I don't know why they were? Maybe it has a cult following, you know, those that underground group that just loved, loved, Maybe. loved it and wanted to spiff it up. Maybe so. That's that's it's six days. Six days left. Six days, John Company. That sounds like a really generic name, right? Like John Doe, John Company. Well, uh, who says if yours is good? It's a two player only oh. tile game, but it's ab- it's an abstract game. Oh, okay. It's not really a. Yeah, just not, not my kind of game. And no, that's not your thing. There you go. Interesting. That is the Kickstarter land. Let me see if I can... <laughs> Tommy's always wondering why he's the one that's out on the negotiations. <laughs> Actually, you're right. It's usually going to be Hunter, right? We're like, we're not trading with him. 
<laughs> All right. So there is the new Kickstarter segment. So let me know what you think about the Kickstarter segment. I mean, I wasn't really, I was prepared to do a lot of things with it, but then everything crashed, so I yeah. had to kind of throw it together. All right. Fun. It is time Fun now time. for, for those that stuck around. Oh, jeez. All right, you guys know how it works. Give us, right. a, give us a topic. A topic, board game related or nay. Or nay. Cool, Julio liked it. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it'll get better over time. I mean, I, I was just kind of winging it this time. Five on the spot. You guys know how it works. Give us a topic, and we'll Pick give you topics. a top five. Top five Kickstarters you wished you backed. That'll work Rebecca, for you. Rebecca wouldn't be able to do that one. I would. My answer would be yes. <laughs> I could probably do the top five. Top, top five best things about Texas. Well, it's not summer yet, so I probably will fill this out. I could fill. Yeah. It out. Mm-hmm. Top five things best about Texas. Yeah. We get that. that one's winning. Give us something else. <laughs> sure, you guys don't want to hear about Texas. <laughs> the Texas Channel. No. No. Oh, man. Maybe Texas. Crickets. Maybe Texas. Oh, you poor people. Top Top five technical difficulties. Oh, too soon. Too soon. Top five games to play after all. Clear. Ooh. That's a pretty good one. I could answer that one really quickly. Top five ice cream flavors. Mm. That's a good one, too. All right, pick one. Pick one of those. Let's do the, the, the top five to play after so once we can get back with in with with the world. Yes. All right. Top five when world opens. Okay. Uh, what else? There, that's the name of it. I was like, brain dead. Um, I'm almost done. You're fast. I'm slow. Cause one I'm, more. One I have more. like 40 going through my head, and I'm like, one more. I need to narrow it down. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat. Um, I'm going to cheat and get you're up. You're cheating? Um... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see, what else? I almost feel like, like, what games do we have? Because I've been so, <laughs> so like, two-player mode. Uh, um, oh, okay. Was, I got, um, I got, I got mine. I'm, 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 I'm forgetting one big, I'm Here actually forgetting a couple big ones I know. One, I'm trying to think two, of the... three, four, five. You moved all the games. You're throwing done. me off my groove, I'm man. done. I'm done. Are you? Done. Oh, yeah. There we go. I knew what it was. Okay. I found it. All right. I'm done. I'm ready. You're done? I'm ready. All right. My number five. My number five is Pit. That would be my number six. Pit. Number five. Uh Pit. My number five is Ugg Tech. Oh, (laughs) jeez. I really need... Maybe I'll just play it with the children and beat them with the inflatable balls. The children would get frustrated really quick with that game. I I know. They'd probably kill each other. It'd be hilarious. Okay, so, Ugg Tech. My number four, Fury of Dracula. Oh, yeah, we haven't played that yet. Sitting on my my shelf of shame. I thought about playing it, but Rebecca doesn't want to play four characters, so... No! How do you get immersed in your character and speak with the proper accent? I don't want to play four characters characters characters. either, so that's why we haven't... you just run around going, blah, blah, and kill me. So, yeah. (laughs) My number four, Deception Murder in Hong Kong, as you guys know, that is my most played game, and it is my least played game right now, and it's kind of driving me crazy. I'm ready to play it again. All right. Start number three for me, Star Trek Ascendancy. We still have the Vulcans and the Andorians oh sitting on the shelf collecting yes. dust. Yes. That's my number seven. All right. <laughs> my number three, Telestrations. I want some good, good party game, big group, belly laughs. I'm ready for it. We'll probably play that when we uh, get back together with the uh, grandparents. Yes. Yes, we will. All right. My number two, Rising Sun. Rising Sun. You know what? We have not played that in a long time, and I loved that game. Rising that Sun. That game was We good. played it at, uh, we did a little kind like of mini a retreat mini thing. retreat thing and played it then, and we haven't played it. It's been oh, 
gosh, two been, years? Two over two years since we oh played it last. Oh my gosh, and it was so good. We had yeah. so much fun with that game. Yep. My number two, again, another party game. Times up. I I'm serious. You have no idea how much I want to do party games right now. Times up. The craziness, the chaos, the shenanigans. Again, more belly laughs. Yes. My number four. Number one. One. Your number one. Has a four in the title. Okay. Twilight Imperium 4. Hey, that's my number one also. <laughs> With the expansion that's collecting dust on our show. Yeah, I want to try that so bad. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for TI4. TI4. That'll probably yes. be the first game we play when we have enough That and to Rising play. Sun. And in between those, we're going to play all the party games. Well, we got to get like at least and... five or six people to play a lot of your games. Well, yeah. That's the plan. All right, there it is. Our five <laughs> on the spot. And we're going to finish it all. We're going to wrap up the show. The chaos, <laughs> the shenanigans, the nonsense with even more shenanigans and nonsense. <laughs> Cora Lou, if we were doing just all clear from a nuclear disaster, it'd probably be a lot of solo games and it's two players. Womp womp. <laughs> oh, <Yes>. man. <laughs> Reminds me of the movie I watched. The uh, Oh, no. What'd you watch? Downsizing. Oh, yeah? Where they all go underground. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that, that was an interesting movie. All right. Here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna move this off the uh, side. I feel that Coralou, I feel you. All right, it's all good. Hopefully, that wasn't too loud. Okay, so you guys, here's the scoop with this. Now, what we're gonna do again for those of you that haven't played along before, you need to pick a topic, a reason that we might rank some board games yep. or rank stuff. It doesn't even necessarily have to make sense. You could go by smell, which. Obviously, that would be a horrible one. They're all going to smell like cardboard. But you get the idea. Pick some reason that Hunter needs to rank. I have okay, seven me. really random games that we actually have a randomizer that picked seven from our collection. Yep, just picks random, seven and random games from our entire Hunter collection. Hunter was too busy with technical difficulties to see what they are. He has no idea. So you're going to pick a random thing for him to reason for him to rank the games so give me some good rank by smell of the components <laughs> stone, stone age. age everybody's you know what our cup, our cup doesn't smell we don't have i guess sweaty hand our our, our little leather cup doesn't smell for whatever reason. gamer players with that i don't know math involvement math involvement that's interesting okay i'd love to see you like nerd your way through some math that'd be fun Literary merit of the rules. <laughs> I don't know if I remember the rules enough to make that decision. <laughs> you have to flip through the book and just you probably it'd probably come back to you if you were scarred, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, Some of them I would know. That's, that's pretty. Funny. Some of them I would know immediately. That's Otherwise, I have no funny. clue. Order. If you would rebuy if lost. Oh, if lost. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Okay. Material of the new edition doesn't smell. That's funny. Oh, we. <laughs> we got. That's funny. Okay. We may have to pick one of those. I might. I'm thinking, um, oh. The rebuy one would be very telling. It might make you sad. Yeah, I don't want to play that one. I might smack, <laughs> I might smack you. I'll be just like, no, you're wrong. No. <laughs> that would have a lot to do with how out of print they are and how unavailable they are. And Oh, don't take that into account. It's just in general how much you would want to date the people on the cover. <laughs> That one's pretty funny. I, not all of them have people, probably. Oh, I think we're doing that one. Are we? Yeah. Is there we're... people on all of them? Um, kind of. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Why not? Let's do it. To use as a pillow. <laughs> so we're going to do the order okay. of the rank of how much I would date whatever's on the cover. Yes. I like how you said whatever now. Because <laughs> it's not seem of them, not all of them have people. Your first one is Finca. All right. Careful think. what you say. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, let's... There's a donkey and an old man. So, <laughs> this lovely lady. He's quite dashing, too, but this lovely lady <laughs> looks very excited about that lemon. And any lady that's excited about lemons is easy to please. Is that so... <laughs> low expectations. So she's girl. excited about this lemon, so she's going to be she's going to be very easy Maybe to I please. Pick a different topic. This is very easy to okay. please. Uh-huh. Make her happy. Okay. Happy wife, happy life. Okay. Keep her a stock of lemons and she'll be happy. Okay. She's currently in first place. Okay. All right. 
Now this one I'm... <laughs> what? We have zombie dice. <laughs> well, I'll say this. He's, he's, in, he's, he's in very good shape. Got not, not very muscular, very trim and fit. Uh-huh. Um, but um, only one eyeball would be very distracting. Would it? One eyeball be distracting. Now, I'd be very distracted about the one eyeball. <laughs> do you look? Do you look in the little empty eyeball socket or not when you're talking to him? I don't know. I thought you're not supposed to make people feel uncomfortable by looking at things that you know could be. That's you know, what I mean. But but like, not looking, you'd be obvious that you're avoiding his. Missing well, you're, eye. Oh, so you're going to be staring at the one eyeball the yes, whole time? Yes, I don't know. So I'm confused by the eye, so I last, <laughs> currently in last, zombie dice, currently okay. in last place. Okay. But second place okay. right now. All right. Um, welcome to the, welcome back to the dungeon, actually. There's a little fairy in the corner. Oh, I was looking at the more of the claws and the things coming out of the, out of the cave. Yeah, but there's a cute little fairy. But there is a little cute little fairy. Yeah. She is quite quite cute. I don't know if you guys can see the little fairy. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm really really far away. I don't know if you guys. Can. Yeah, we're very far back. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. <laughs> but but the little fairy lady is going. Shh. So she's probably gonna annoy you and make you be quiet. She look kind of looks like a teacher, <laughs> a high school teacher. You like high school teachers? Well, some uh. not ones that shush me. When you shush me. <laughs> That's true. This reminds me of Rebecca. <laughs> so where are you going to rank it now? I'm curious. Very, 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 no pressure. very, no pressure. got the little high school teacher bun going. I, you guys can't see this, but so let me describe it. So it's a little, it's a little fairy pixie looking thing with little purple wings. She's got a red, really striking red hair, which I love red hair. Oh, geez. And it's up in a little bun and she's sh shushing you. I'm about to shush somebody. I think it's in first place. Good call, good call. The pixie's in first Brownie place. Brownie points accepted. The pixie is in first place. Okay, all right. Now this one will be a little trickier because I don't see any people on this. It's a train. 1846. You'd, you'd date the game, I think. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Loves the game. Let's see how I can run with this. Um, Are there any people? There is no people anywhere. So how do you feel about trains? <laughs> Well, tra trains are a symbol of hope and oh prosperity. Oh my gosh, what? Trains are a oh symbol of gosh. hope and prosperity. And there's a cool little house over oh here. God. Lovely house. It's the last place. There's no people on this box. <laughs> this is going to be fun. You, you have a tough set. Nope. Tough See, set. what I'm going to do for time's up, I'm going to cheat. Normally, I just go by the cover. I'm actually going to cheat. And I'm going to take a random person out of the card list. Nice. And go with that? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Until okay. I, I'm the first person that first comes person. up. First person. Because it has per people on this, right? I hope <laughs> yeah. it has people. Yeah, it has names of people. Uh, I think it's all titles. Well, what yeah, but there's sometimes there's music by people, right? Uh, there's no people in this. Oh. <laughs> all right, I'm going to randomly pick a card and see what it says. The Godfather. <laughs> We're going to say it's uh, Corleone. Did he give you an offer? You can't refuse. So, so we're going to say it's Corleone. Uh, what's his name? <laughs> I'm horrible with names. What's his first name? Don? It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... so I, He looks like he has the mumps. What? But, um, you, ever, you ever seen it? He looks like he oh, has, okay. he has the big I giant it. cheeks. Yeah, he's got jowly cheeks. Okay. And he mumbles when he, he talks. Okay. And he's very violent. Well, yeah. I don't think we would get along. I'm a very, okay. I'm a very loving and caring oh, person. Oh, brother! So, uh, time's yeah. up. <laughs> is below the train in last place. Below the train. <laughs> you dated train first. Okay, hold on. I gotta see now. I thought there. Oh, there is. You got Lady Liberty and a skier on this. What is Statue of Liberty? Statue of Liberty. Okay. Oh no! Wait. There's a dinosaur in the back. <laughs> You're going to take a dinosaur over the Statue of So we're going to go with the Statue of Liberty right there. We're going to say that it's not the statue. It's the person it was modeled after. Lady Liberty? Yes. She's quite lovely. Quite dashing. Very caring. She she would take in the needy and the tired masses. So she's very she'd be very nurturing, I think. 
Sure. And I really need some nurturing in Dude, my life you, right now. Oh, somebody's so sad. <laughs> I, I need a lot of nurturing Aww. right now. So, so, so Lady Liberty is better than the zombie. Okay. But not quite better than the Lemon Lady. Oh, wow. You put Lemon Lady. I can't see. Lemon Lady? Yeah, put that you can see Lemon Lady. Lemon Lady. And then the winner is clearly me. Apparently. The Pixie is the winner. The, the, yeah, okay. So what we got left? Is that it? One, two, That's three, four. There should be seven. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot. And the best for last. 400 pounds. <laughs> this fat cat. <laughs> All right. So we're going with the fat cat. This right here. Now, let me move first off by saying... She's very dashing. Is she? Or what's the woman? That's a guy term. What's the what lady term? She's very uh lovely. I don't know. <laughs> very uh prop proper. She's a proper southern <laughs> lady. Proper. She's a very proper southern lady, but she is a cat. So <laughs> now the question is, is the cat better than a zombie? <laughs> These are the deep questions that we ponder here for you guys. Okay. Definitely not better than Lady Fetchy. Liberty. Fetching. Oh, yes. Fetching. Fetching. That's the word that's I was looking for. You, yes, thank that's you. The word that's, I, that's exactly the word I was looking for. You Very, win, Hardy. And, and, and <laughs> she's, she's an animal, so she may actually be fetching. Like fetching. Wow. Wow. Um, really? You're going to go... Oh. So, she's very proper. A very, very, very proper southern lady. Um, but, she's not humanoid. <laughs> she's wearing human clothes. Is she saying that she's one of the, what is it, the animorph, what is it called? Anthropomorphine? Yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, um, no. Um, I'm, I, I'm torn, I think the zombie, the zombie wins. Because they were once, zombie? they were once human. So we're going to say zombie, but she, but the cat's better than a train. So we're, there's our final order. We got the lovely pixie. We have the, the, the very uh, very low maintenance lemon lady. <laughs> low maintenance lemon. We have the, the nurturing and caring oh, lady God. liberty. Why? We have the zombie which confuses me with their eye. The only one eye. The very fetching proper southern cat. A train which shows, symbolizes hope and the future. We do And then Don Corleone at the very back. Time's up. Wow, this was so special. So special. Um, there you go. There <laughs> is our ranking, folks. Everyone's saying that you now have a bunch of new Fog of Love characters. <laughs> there is a the random ranking. I shall be fetching Miss... I put Donald Corleone below a train. It's very strange. Yeah, well, you know, life is strange sometimes. <laughs> Wait, he does put like, heads, dead horse heads in beds and stuff. Or is that the Well, that, that's true. That, you that probably is don't want to cause a fight. Whew. That, that wore me out for some reason. <laughs> that, was, that was very deep thought thinking first. All right, I think we're actually going to finish up. Um, I think we in there somewhere we did an hour. <laughs> what? Is this patina contagious? <laughs> Freak. Lady Liberty. Oh. All the, 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 oh, the, copper, the, all the breast. The <laughs> all right. That's it, oh, folks. Oh, man. All right. Yep, that's oh, it. Oh, man, you guys are crazy. So one week from tonight, hopefully, if we're on. Oh, my gosh, don't start. One week from tonight. That's technology stuff. I think I think, I think next week I'm going to go live for like five minutes. Early. And to delete the video and then go live go again. Go live on time. <laughs> but we're going to try to eliminate the pain for all involved next week. Yeah. All right. Good plan. One week from tonight, Okay. we are doing, Rebecca doesn't even know about this. This is a surprise to her. One week from tonight, we are doing our top 10 games of 2011. Of 2011? One decade ago. Wow, okay. That's scary to think that 2011 is a decade ago. Wow. But anyway, top 10 games from 2011. I looked and we've played about 30-ish 30 30-ish games from 2011. So that should give okay. us a pretty good list. I think we'll have a lot of crossover, but probably in different places. Different places in the ring. Maybe. We'll see. That'll be interesting. So, top games. Top 10 wow. thing, games of 2011. Then one week from, from that, we're doing another variety show as we uh, as we normally mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. Then, one week from then, I don't know if this is, this is what all the cool kids are doing. <laughs> okay. All the cool kids. So, all one minute cool board kids. games and what's the other channel? Oh, I had it in my head. Con. What's the name of that channel? Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Anyway. Several several contributors. We'll, I'll talk about it. I'll be more prepared next time. But uh, are doing this cool um, blind board game test. Oh yeah, 
I, I forgot you showed me the Murph Brothers. Thing. Yes. So and they were like challenging everyone. Three to do weeks. This. Three weeks from tonight. Okay. They. No one else has done it live. We're doing it live. Oh my god. A live <laughs> board game challenge. <laughs> So, if you don't know what that is, if you don't know what that is, you're blindfolded. Board game ramblings. Huh? Board game ramblings. No, it was uh, one minute board games and conver con conversation. Con. I can't. It's got some name. Okay. I can't think of the name. Okay. Of anyway. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's, anyway, oh so gosh, you basically blind... you're blindfolded. Okay, I can't. And what wait. we're gonna we're gonna do it a little different. Oh my gosh. We're going to use our ra- game randomizer. Most people are picking games that that will be e- that's that might, might be, easier, might be able to figure it out. We're going to randomize 10 games each. <laughs> Completely random games. No, it's going to end up being... I'm going to get, like, Smartphone the expansion, and I'll be like... No, there's no expansions. Oh, you it's didn't? Just, okay. It's just basic games. Okay, so. good. Ooh. We're going to randomize them, get 10 games, and the person's blindfolded, and they have to guess the board game. I'm going to lose so, this so badly. first you get the guess with uh, just feeling the outside of the box, and if you get it right, you get three points. Okay. But if you get it wrong, then you can open the box. Most of our games. And you can feel the components inside. You're like, oh, oh, hexagon. It's an 18xx game. Anyway, and then if you get, guess it right, you get two points. And then if you get it, don't get it right, then you get a final guess, but you get a clue. And we decided that our clue is going to be the designer of the game. Yeah, because I would not be able to do she, publishers. Yeah, well. I'm terrible with publishers. I'm, I'm much better at publishers probably than she is. Yeah. And uh, that would give me an unfair advantage. So we're going to do designer of the game. Yep. Um, not that that will help us with some of our games, but a few of them will help. <laughs> but we're doing, we're doing, we're a lot of the games. Don't that, mind me. I'm just. Just hanging out while we're talking. <laughs> a lot, a lot of the, a lot of the people are picking games that would be fairly obvious. Uh, but we're gonna do. Yeah, seriously, I think it'd be hilarious to pick just completely, completely random, random, random games. Oh my gosh, the chaos! I can't wait. I'm actually excited to lose this game because it's gonna be funny. Like until, I don't know. I might beat you. I might. The odds, I don't know. The only issue, the only I, issue with us doing it live is that uh, one of us will have our games prepped in advance. Yeah, one person. The other person is going to have to have to pull the games off the Which shelf. Which would be hilarious because you're going to see me wandering around going, where, where did you put that game? <laughs> so Rebecca can wander around and chat with you. Yeah, I'll she's... chat randomly while I'm, I'm... I'll ramble with you while I'm picking out the games. And I'll be blindfolded. Just It'll be great. So it, anyway... You can sit and make faces. That's three weeks from oh, tonight. Man. The uh, I'm, I'm stoked. I am so excited. Blindfold board game... Blindfold board game challenge is what yep. they call it. Yep. So... Yeah. Oh yeah, our randomizer it does do it's the ones that randomly picks the games for um this since, that we just did si- the rankings. Since, since since we're since we're uh since we're what? since we you had a, such a horrible start, I'm actually going to show you oh, the randomizer. Oh yeah, show yeah, you guys should see Hunter's randomizer. It's pretty sweet. All right, so let me let me pull it up. I know, right, Julio? I'm I'm excited too. I cannot wait. I want to do one now. I'm, I've never done one of those. I've never tried. We're not doing a practice Sorry, beforehand, to, so I, it's going to kill me to to try it. I mean, I'm hoping I get zombie dice. That's my hope. Although, with my luck, we just get liar's dice, and I think it's zombie dice, and I lose that too, so I don't know. All right, so let me it's pull. Be tough. I got the screen up. Now let me show you the screen. <laughs> Do a practice one. (laughs) Do a practice one tonight. Oh, geez. I don't think we even have figured out what our blindfolds are. All right. So let me know if you guys can see that. Okay. Okay. So here. It's a little small to read, it looks like, on the screen. but Let me make it a little bit. Let me see if I can zoom. Hold on. You got to click on it first. No, it's not letting me. It's not, not letting you do the zoomy not, bits. Zoomy bits. Okay. But anyway, well, you can see hopefully it. you guys can see. The, uh, this is a list of all our games here. And again, you said you didn't put any um, no expansions, expansions or anything. All our games. We took out. I took out some of her teacher games and things like that. Yeah, that we. And a lot of the little card games like Uno and things like that. These are these are our games that we would play. That we would wow, not, rude much. I see well, that we wouldn't. We, we would <laughs> played recently. I guess is a better way to say it. But here's all the games. I think we're at four hundred and four hundred and forty-one. Yeah. So anyway, so then Ooh. I just have some Excel formulas way up here at the top. Right here, so it, so basically you push a you push a button, <laughs> you push you push a button and it uh, delete. Oh, oh, my keyboard's not. Oh, why is my keyboard on? I don't know. You're too far away. No. Battery die. Probably. Okay. Well, yeah, you press delete and it randomizes it. Supposedly. Why isn't this? 
Oh, there oh, we go. There it. we go. It's doing it. So yeah, you just push a button on, and it just randomizes. It'll add, I'll make it ten, and then it'll, it pulls up the thing. It's just a simple Excel formula that picks a random number between one and whatever's the bottom of the list. And <laughs> hey, you know what? Zeros has a great idea. Next time, um, if we have any technical difficulties and the screen goes black, you guys can play a game of guess what game Hunter's holding up. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so you guys get to play at home, too. We'll do that. So, anyway, there's my little game randomizer I, I built. I love it. I love it. That's fun. Uh, and, yeah, this is great because I just walk up, hit delete, and I grab seven games, and then I hit delete again so he has no clue what games I grabbed for the randomizer and stuff. And it's it's a lot of fun. Um, so that's what we use for the... the but we'll use stuff. that for the blindfold yeah. thing. And, basically, we'll, like I said, one of us will have it pre-set up, probably me, because... I'm, Rebecca will be more interesting wandering around than I will. Um, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so we'll have 10 set up for, to go for Rebecca. And then once she's done with her challenge, then I'll put my blindfold on. And yep. then she'll hit the randomizer and go. Well, she'll already have her list. Yeah. And she'll go and pull the 10 games off the shelves. Yeah. And uh, then we'll start. So there'll be a little <laughs> there'll be a little bit of a pause while she goes and finds the games. But Yep. So that's going to be a blasty blast. I'm looking forward to we'll it. Do it. I want to do it live because I think, I, I think the interaction will be hilarious. I think so, too. And I think it'll be fun because... Um, you can see the smack talk and encouragement, and vice versa from the chat. Right. I'm not gonna be able to see squat while I'm looking. And, right, and, right, and, right. Like it'll be, it'll be fun. So, um, 2000 games. Oh, I'm sorry, games of 2011. That's really when we started really getting back into the gaming and stuff. That's gonna be yep. really fun. So we got that going, and then um, I have at least 10 games I rate a eight or higher. So. Oh, I believe it. I was gonna say I know there's a lot of really good games. But there's a lot of not so good games too. Rebecca can give you the first game, and while you're figuring it out, she can get the rest, so no time lost. Oh, ah! that's not a bad idea. You say no time lost. That's not a bad idea. You say no time lost. That's actually I'll a still, good idea. I'll that's still a good idea. Around. Yeah, I can do that. I'll be all nervous because I'll feel, I'll feel her moving around. I just realized I didn't. I, I took my glasses off when I was angry. Do I look different without my glasses? Yes, yes, you do. <laughs> you don't look as angry now. I don't, don't look angry. as angry. I don't know. My angry glasses. My angry IT face. So we're we're really sorry about the the, the mess up, man. Mm. It just it just it's very 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 um yeah. Anyway, it's all good. You guys are awesome. But and... we thank you for sticking around, hanging out with us. We enjoy it, even though the technical difficulties. They'll get worked out someday. Someday they'll get worked Sooner out. Sooner than later. <laughs> someday the technical difficulties. All of a sudden we'll downgrade it. We'll get <laughs> yeah, we'll go downgrade. But we'll go back to this mic. Nope, and... nope. We're just going off our uh. Android. We're just sticking the phone. Sticking up. the phone back up. Yeah, going back to those again. days. That's yep. probably the easier way to go. No technical difficulties that way. <laughs> Not wearing my glasses it makes my eyes all wonky. That's funny. All right, you guys are amazing. It was fun. It was really great getting to chat with you guys and interact and discuss. And I so, am looking forward to um, the stuff we're going to be doing soon. So, a qu couple quick reminders before we get Very out of here. Don't forget about the logo contest. Please, oh, yes, please. please send us logos. The more the merrier for us to choose from. I haven't peeked yet at any of them. I'm really excited to see what you guys do. If you are a new artist person and just want to start getting your stuff out there, this is a great opportunity. And it doesn't have to be anything well. super fancy. No, no, no. No, no. But finished product, hopefully, that we don't have to tweak because, again, we lack those skills. So, that there's so. that. And also, <laughs> vote. go to vote on our... Uh, your favorite segments from the variety show because I'm going to try. We have so many now that we're not going to, be able to do them all every time. So I want to know which ones to focus on, which ones not yeah. to do as often. So go ahead and make your voice heard on which which ones. Again, that's in the Board Game Geek Guild. The link's down in the I don't the care thing. what anybody says, though. Your back of the box is staying because it's hilarious. No one and likes my back random. of the box. I love it. It's random. No one likes There's my no back of the box. There's no purpose to it. That's the point. <laughs> what? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just saying. It's not getting any votes. I'm very sad. I'm going to go in and vote it up, man. I'm going to get a whole <laughs> bunch of alts, and I'm going to go in there and just be like, there's a wave! You called it alts. I did. A, you're such a gamer. I know. <laughs> alts. Yeah. She said alts. All right. So one week from tonight, top 10 uh, 2011 games. This is for you. Very glary. Oh, yeah. Chinese star. Watch out. Oh, my gosh. Bye, everybody. Bye! Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Click subscribe to join our wonderful viewer community. Want to be notified when we upload a new video or go live? Click on the little bell below.